Welcome to T2T Boxing in association with IFL TV and Macklin's Gym Marbella. I'm here, I'm joined by Carly Mean Hands Mian. Thanks for joining us, Carly. Thank you for having me. No worries at all. Just been calling the PBA card, their first show under that promotion. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what are your thoughts on the fights that we saw tonight? Two, two Australian title fights? Good fights. You know, all the fights tonight were sort of evenly matched which made action-packed mm. action fights. I'm sure the crowd wasn't disappointed. And you know, to see Kerry follow the way he won his title, defended his title, was awesome. Absolutely. Crowd was really up on their feet. Yeah, no, obviously a, a fan of the knockouts being in the heavyweight division. Is that, um, is that up there with some of the knockouts that you've seen recently in, in Australia? It was a good knockout. You know? It mm. was a really nice knockout. Yeah, a, yeah, he's got a lot of power in, uh, in those hands. I know he spars a lot of heavyweights as well. But uh, big news on your front. I know that you're um, obviously announced to fight Joseph Parker later this year. Yeah. Um, so you're probably the longest standing name in, in New Zealand boxing. But uh, you know, Joseph Parker's really made a name for himself mm -hmm. in the last couple of years. How do you see, um, how do you see that fight going? And, and what was it about that fight that really sort of drew you into uh, to taking it? You know, I'm a boxing, as well as being a boxer, I'm a boxing fan, you know. So... Um he needs to get past me if he's going to make it anywhere, you know, on the world stage. Obviously, he needs to get past me. Him and his team are confident that he will. You know, I'm confident that he won't. I'm, I'm very confident that uh, I'll have the sparring with my son and the training. I'll, they've given me, Juku has given me a lot of time to, to prepare. Yeah. So, you know, there's no shortcuts there. I'm happy about that. It's going to be a fight for the fans. It really is. Yeah, absolutely. And so you've obviously had some recent success over in New Zealand as well in the Super mm -hmm. 8 tournament. So going back there once again, do you feel that um, you know you can upset the odds and, and take the win from that fight? For sure, for sure. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? Um, he's a very slick, sharp, fast boxer. Um, you know, he has got speed, phenomenal speed. You know, but I don't think he's ever seen speed. He's never handled speed. Um, he's got power. I don't know. I don't think he's ever handled power. He's never been punched before. The fighters that he has fought, the fighters who have come forward, they've come forward without punching. Yeah. You know, so we've got to see what's That's going it. to happen when he does yeah. get hit. Big, big step up for him in terms of opponent. You know, when you look at the names, it's going to be a huge step up for him in, in terms of your experience and your power that you bring to the ring. But um, also looking at um, you know, some winners looking at getting another fight very soon as well. Is that something that we can expect to see in the, in the next few months? Yeah, he'll be on the card. He'll be on the card. So. Um, I mean, we're just going to knuckle down together and just sort of go up over the Central Coast and just train, train, train for this fight. Excellent. Well, father and son on the same card. I'm sure that will draw some people in. We'll, um, we'll catch up with you during camp. We'll come up to the Central Coast and uh, see you guys while you're sparring and while you're training. Until then, wish you all the best and thanks for your time. My pleasure. Cheers, Carly. Thanks. Mm -hmm.